So, we now go to section 106. VAT on sale of goods or, or properties. It's always off. Or properties. Now, you take note of zero rated transactions. But before we go to that, let's go to the provision. Section 106. This one. So, rate and base of tax, you know that already that's 12%. Okay, and there is this definition definition of goods or properties so you just read this this one and the gross selling price what an interesting case i think it was asked in the bar a few years two years ago i think when uh this involves mindanao geothermal partnership when they sold nissan patrol this was not this nissan patrol was used in their operation and uh, when it was already, I think, um, fully de depreciated, they, they decided to sell that. And the BIR imposed VAT on it. And they went to the Supreme Court, and the Supreme Court, yes, it is VATable. Because why? Mindanao, to sale of Nissan Patrol is said to be an isolated transaction. However, it does not follow that an isolated transaction cannot be an incidental transaction for purposes of VAT liability. Indeed, a reading of Section 105 of the 1997 Tax Code would show that a transaction in the course of a trade or business includes, remember this, transactions incidental thereto. Mindanao's business is to convert the steam supplied to it by the PNOC EDC into electricity and to deliver the electricity to the NPC. In the course of its business, Mindanao 2 bought and eventually sold the Nissan Patrol. Prior to the sale, the Nissan Patrol was part of Mindanao 2's property plant and equipment. Therefore, the sale of Nissan Patrol is an incidental transaction made in the course of Mindanao 2's business, which should be liable for VAT. So, you remember that. Okay, but this was asked, I think, two years ago, and uh, this is, has not been overturned. So, the, the, the term in the course of the trade or business includes transactions incidental there too. Mindanao 2 Geothermal is located in Kidapawan class, if you remember, or if you know that, PNOC, somewhere in Kidapawan, or, yeah. And, okay. We'll, we'll discuss the zero rated transaction you you must remember that there are transactions if you're covered under VAT it's either 12% zero rated or exempt transactions so for a transaction to be zero rated okay, it should be what export sales and you read this because these are these are the definition of export sales and also to be zero rated it should be foreign currency denominated sale okay and sales to persons or entities whose exemption under special laws or international agreements to which the philippines is signatory effectively subject such sales to zero rate so this one is because there is this section 112 whenever you you, you have a transaction a zero rated transaction obviously the input VAT would be higher than your output VAT if you're like if your business is purely for on export of goods and goods if you have uh, suppliers if you buy the materials for your for your products to be exported then obviously uh, you have this you 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 pay the 12 percent VAT for these the supplies for the materials that you need for your product and obviously 0 minus 12 is negative so you would have a refund under section 112 we, which we will discuss later but you just remember there are only three for okay this is just for the sale of goods or properties 
because in section 107 this is or in 108 sale of services and use or lease of properties that's different and there is also this zero rated transaction also there but for section 106 this pertains to the sale of goods or properties so that's 12 percent if it is export then zero percent zero rated or if it is a foreign currency denominated sale then also zero rated and sales to persons under international agreements or under special laws which subjects the sales to zero rate and this you have to okay memorize this class sub -parag or paragraph b of section 106 transactions deemed sale if i am not mistaken the last time this was asked was in 1997 so this might be asked again what are the transactions deemed to be sale so memorize this okay that's paragraph b changes in or cessation of status so you just read this and this one that, that's the, that's the basic of zero or the sale of goods or profit properties it's either 12 percent or zero rated okay you must familiarize yourself with that next we will discuss section 107 and 108